this is In Demand with Alex and Lucy. We are backstage at Live 2011 at the Metro Radio Arena. Nicola Roberts. Yay! Is here. Yay! <laughs> How are you? Oh, oh. Just... Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. First big solo performance, yeah. right? Yeah, I felt like a little fish in a big pond. Oh, in a big arena? Yeah. 10,000 people. Wow. When was the last time you think you performed in front of that many people? Two years ago on stage. Yeah. This is the last time I've been on stage. And what was it like for you then? Because we were watching you on the big screen. And I was thinking, is she nervous? She's absolutely terrified. Yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you looked a bit nervous. And then you get this look on your face. It was like, I'm going to do this. I had Damn it. You were great. Oh, thanks. You were brilliant. And the crowd loved it. What I went through your mind before you were on stage? Because <laughs> you've done this so many times before, but it's totally different now. Totally different. And we always used to say before, like, you know, we have each other's back and blah, blah, blah. And we never knew how that felt. And, and I know now how that feels, like, to actually say those things. We've got each other's back. Like, I felt like I was alone <laughs> up there. <laughs> sort of expected to turn right, turn left and see the girls. <laughs> I could just feel this empty space behind me. Um, but I had me band there. Yeah, me DJ. Girlies, me DJ, yeah. So it was nice. <laughs> and I, uh, before I went on stage, I was like, come on, Nicola, you can do this. It's not big of a deal. Who are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> but this is it, this is you now. Yeah. So yeah. artist. So how's that process been from being part of obviously such a successful mm. outfit anyway and having this major support from producers and your label and stuff like that to carving it on your own terms? Mm. Weird. <laughs> Just weird. It's like it's funny because you're in the studio for so long, like over a year, and you just write in, you just go turn up in your scrubby trackies, no one has to make any judgment, you're just being creative, and then as soon as you start promoting, it takes a whole life on of its own, and it becomes a whole new ball game, and that's something that then you have to get used to. Um, so I think it's going to take a little while to get used to it, but I'm just... I'm not really taking it too seriously, like I've had the most amazing time making the record, I've learnt so much making the record, more than I can even be thankful for, um, and I'm just going to take it one day at a time, and I, I don't, like I'm not one of them people, like I don't set myself up for anything, so I'm just going to have fun, and just see what happens, and just enjoy myself. Okay. Obviously fashion is quite a big part of what you're doing now, is it? you've obviously been very fashionable in the past, it's something you're interested in. Always, always stepping out in Vivian Westwood, we always yeah. dresses. <laughs> and now this is obviously taking a big role in what you're doing, the video is a very trendy affair. Yeah. When you're trendy up, affair? Well, it is. When you, sound you're like, you sound like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're up on stage. Yeah, this shit you're rocking is yeah. quite trendy. That's yeah. alright. Yeah, looking I like good. to take care of my boots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shopping. Oh, oh. Yeah. Can we do that? We, we can go off just together. Do you have a fun when you go in Vivian Westwood? You just break out into a sweat, because I do. Why? It just makes me sweat. The <laughs> Disney store does the same though to me. <laughs> 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 I know Vivian Westwood is, 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 is the sort of job where I break out the sweat because I think, God, if only I could buy everything in here. <laughs> but obviously the appearance is quite a big part of the whole package, mm. isn't it? It is, and like fashion is something that I really enjoy and like I think that if you're a creative person, like it's nice to I think that basically if you want to get down to it, fashion is to make yourself feel a certain way and you get dressed in the morning and sometimes I can get dressed, three, changed three times but I have to leave the house feeling like how I want to feel for that day otherwise I'm in a bad mood, like I'm yeah. in a strap. It's, it's, I think if you're any girl goes through yeah, that. Yeah, you just need to feel good and fashion is something that does that for me and like I like to be expressive with it, I like to push it as far as possible, I get bored with fashion and I genuinely am interested in the trends, like what's next, like what's new, like what's this brand new look that we can all rock, let's go and put pink blusher on and blue lipstick and I, I just think it's fun and it's it's something that is supposed to make you feel better and you're supposed to have fun with it, like it's not supposed to be taken so seriously. Do you ever look at old pictures of you and the girls, like when you first started out and go, oh my god, what was I wearing? Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> Everyone does that though. Everyone does that, <laughs> have you heard from, have any of them heard? Your new single? Yeah, they, what, what's the feedback like? Yeah, they <laughs> really like it. Yeah. They like it, they really like Everyone's it. Kimberly was like, I've got a good feeling, Ginge. 
Oh, I mean, is that like your, your nickname, Ginge? Your Team like, Ginge on Twitter, everyone's yeah. like, Team Ginge. It's funny, like, now I've got Twitter and the Ginge thing's come out. Like, like everyone for years has just called me Ginge, and all of a sudden it's like everyone knows that. It's turned into this... It's like a tag. Now. Yeah. <laughs> into this new thing, but no. Do you have a name for all your fans or your solo fans yet? I mean, it could just literally be Team Ginge, because that seems We're to be what's trending on Twitter all the time. Yeah. And, all the fans are in Team Ginger, we're all in it together. Oh, that's nice. nice. People who dye the hair get extra brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> or extra th- ginge points. Yeah. Lots of ginger points. <laughs> even though they're not with you on stage, the rest of the girls have still got you back. Yeah, yeah they have. Oh, yeah, bless them. We support each other in everything that we do. Like, obviously, we're all totally out of our comfort zone. You know, on the break. Yeah. So you're all doing lots of your own things. Yeah, though. but we all wish each other well and. We all get nervous for each other and yeah. So of course it's going to be about your solo stuff for, for now on, for the foreseeable future. And then everyone's going on about, oh, the Olympics and stuff. And then mm. I think Kimberly may have said, we haven't actually no. said that we're doing that. No. Do you know how long it'll be until you do finally come back together? Because I love your greatest tits album. I listen to it all the time, but I'm like, it's just a suit. <laughs> yeah, no. I think probably it's our 10th anniversary next year. Oh. So that would be... 10 years, I don't feel old enough. No. I feel, I think that probably then that would be the right time for us to all to get back together and to celebrate that and, you know. Sarah will be a married woman by then. Wow. Well, My yeah. God. <laughs> She's settled down. Nicola, can, can you introduce your brand new single we'll play now on Indivance? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm Nicola Roberts and this is my brand new single, Beat of My Drum. Nicola, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.